Hello everyone, welcome back to another Dauntless video. In this video you will experience um, spinning death blades of annihilation uh, with the new 1.4.0 update, the asparagus sword. After you have groaned, you know, groaned, ground, grind, some word that means that you've past tense grind, did for grinded, grinded, there we go. Uh, for the asparagus sword, you are going to want to use and utilize this build. It is a very, very fun build, especially with the especially with the Shrike's Zeal Lantern. You can move around very, very fast. It's just it makes the build like it's like it's like the MB, MVP of the build. You know, it makes it just just that much better. Without further ado, let's get into the build, and then after that, you can enjoy the rest of the video. See you there. Let's get into the build. So for the sword, you're gonna want obviously the main MVP of the build, the poisonous thorn, with two plus three overpower cells in the prismatic ones. Uh, for the special, obviously, you want the Ardient Cyclone and the mod recursive for the payoff. I mean, I don't know why you wouldn't use it. Uh, for the bond, you want Karabak Spur. For the helmet, you're going to want Light's Crown. Uh, depending on what type of build you want this to be, say, attack speed, you would want Wild Frenzy. Uh, or, or, or if you want the crit version, uh, Cunning. So, Light's Crown with any of those boreal resolve with iceborne boreal might with discipline boreal march with cunning and the second mvp of this build shrike's zeal with conduit um that's gonna get you that you know speed while doing the the uh the audience cyclone so you can you know keep up with the behemoths if they run away from you annoyingly uh, you won't see that in my video because I barely use it and uh, I barely utilize it at all. <laughs> I, uh, I'm too used to the other lanterns. So uh, yeah, enjoy.